Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, make the login customized page for Keyclock version 24. You would need to make one folder as a uh, SRC source main resources and she has the one theme and meta information like this one and drop the one file as a key clock theme that JSON here. All this information as I shown you before it's available in the the key clock server. So what I have done here for this JSON file because uh, I need the login admin account command and email so I made it again the same version like this way we have the theme what is the name I put this name as is my name and also the uh, the types is for login admin account and common so I would suggest again that is uh, please make this comment as well because uh, it's when I didn't involve this common then uh, it didn't make the new one for me so please make sure you have all these things in your JSON file and here in the uh, the main page which is the source you need to drop the one POM file as an XML and this XML it's including the uh, this item just the same as previous one there there is a name I changed my name and also the version uh, this for this ID the name of your uh, folder name for the theming and I put this as a uh, group ID all this uh, customizable it's nothing more than uh, your desired name then you have to come to the source main resources and you need to make the one theme file which is the name of the the theme file and drop all the necessary uh, parts which you want to customize it like account admin command email login and welcome although maybe you don't need it you can drop it uh, and keep it as a default version so the target is to go to make the for login page I'm going for login page what I have done is I mix uh, the difference of the base and uh, key clock version 2 together and you can see in the resource file for example in the base uh, there are not too too much file like a CSS and image so CSS and image you have to copy and the paste from other uh, source and drop it here message in, in the base is available and one one more theming part which is uh, this is the the seeming the same part of that you need to change this part for, from uh, by default is a key clock name so change it to your uh, custom name and also I added for my local uh, which is the different languages I added here if you don't like you can remove it yeah these are what you should do for the login page and then you have to come here to the okay let me just very quickly explain that what I have done I uh, uh, change the one logo here and uh, I keep this uh, the background just I add the one logo so what you can do here you can go to the CSS file and then uh, this is the the image name 
you don't need to change it if you want you can change it and also you can uh, change the let me check again this name for this is actually this image is for the uh, at the top of the logging columns and this is for the background so key clock logo text key clock logo text I think hyphen oh, yeah hyphen This part is for the uh, that icon, and if you have your icon, you can customize this uh, size of the icon, which I have done. Okay, let's uh, jump to mm, making part as a job. So you would need to come to this page, and before you start to make the package you have to make sure you already installed the Maven in your system so come to provider and paste it here after you paste you have to go to the bean folder and then you have to write down kc that that build for update the server based on your package and after updating the the server you have to open running the server so now i am updating that one oops let me see what's happened oh okay my server is running i have to first stop the server and then kc that bad build mm, then i need to okay it was some problem in my server and that bad start if I configure that uh, file upgrade in for the the CMIC file and now I am up and running the server it takes some seconds and then Okay. Then we have to come to the realm setting and theming part and here we can see the cost theme. Just I want for the login part. Save after you save you need to sign out here you go you have the, this IOT station for my logo 
uh, for the background I didn't change it I just kept as it is and also I changed this uh, part for the message part of the key clock for this message part you just need to come to uh, message and yeah, here for the login account title I just change it to sign in to IOT station then uh, as you can see here it's showing this item you can change other part of that based on your desire uh, seeming part thank you everyone for watching this video and if you think this video was helpful please don't forget to like the button and if you have any question please drop your question in the comments I will get back to you as soon as possible thank you and see you in the next one